Hey, so what we're doing now is we're setting our, which is going to turn out to be our time lapse. Uh, on the Bushnells, it's called the field scan, and we have it set to take a picture at 9 o'clock in the morning, actually two pictures at 9 o'clock in the morning to 9.01, and then at 12 o'clock, which is when this uh, creek bed is really lit up, uh, we have it set to take two more pictures. So hopefully every day this takes a total of four pictures for us so we can see uh, the characteristics of the creek throughout the winter and uh, probably the, see all the trees, uh, leaves fall and uh, it's going to be interesting actually. We're pointing right at Bill Munn's projected paddy initial siding. Paddy frame one. Paddy frame one. All right. And Thank this you. changed a lot just from last year. It has indeed. Uh, the creeks on the different side. It was flowing on the far side last year. And we've got a lot more erosion from this winter on that side. Yeah, so it'll be interesting. Well, here we are, the uh, Bluff Creek film site. This is a uh, Patterson Gimlin film site. We're setting up trail cameras in uh, various locations. Um, we got a bunch of money together from some very gracious uh, people that wanted to donate and wanted to see some some good work and good field work go into you know go into the the study so and we're gonna put a clamp down on this entire area so that way any animal that comes up and down this creek uh, is basically gonna be caught on camera um, so that'll give us a good idea of uh, what type of animals are moving through um, so it's gonna be a wealth of data we don't we don't necessarily think there's gonna be a Bigfoot on camera um, but, you know, we can all, you know, cross our fingers, but I think uh, even with, with bears and uh, mountain lions and deer, we could at least see what the animal movements are in the area, you know, and if this is a, this could be a migratory path, you know, uh, from, you know, the animals that are up in the high country, maybe they migrate to the low country during the winter, or maybe they, they come up here for the winter, you know, so we don't really know. So that's why we're doing some field research. So, yeah. I'm thinking about shifting it over so it gets that whole angle down there. It's gonna get harder. Well, that. Anything that walks this way, you know, is gonna get hit. It, you know, by that camera or those cameras, so. They saw that we had a, a, a successful funding campaign and we, we, we tried not to aim too high, you know, we really knew that we needed to get a couple of good quality cameras and uh, we were able to pick up four cameras. You know, one of these cameras can do the work that a single investigator could do in their entire life. You know, in one year it could accomplish that because, you know, a person might only go out once a week or maybe you know once every two weeks you know on a on the weekends to go look and they might only look for four or five hours and they they often go out at night where they can't see like 40 feet in front of their face but these things can see in the dark they're working 24 hours a day they're covering a complete area so they can cover this whole area they can do it at night undetected so it's like it's you get infinitely better uh better data it's kind of spooky out here yeah, and the dogs it's, over here. You know, so it's, it's not it's not bad with a bunch of people, but like, uh, I would not want to be here by myself. Oh, I've done it before. Yeah. It, it was different, yeah. different, different enough feel to it. So I don't know. I'm just I'm just glad that it's that it's successful, and I think just just by us getting the cameras, getting down here, and uh, just playing around with it and trying, you know, and a lot of people are just like, there's a lot of naysayers that are like, you know, what are you doing down there? You know, that site's inactive. There's nothing down there. Well, nobody comes down here so there's no one to really interact with whatever animals are down here we know that there's bears here we know that there's mountain lions we know that there's there's deer why don't we just you know try at least so good well we're looking forward to this we got the cameras up we're going to activate them and then we're going to depart and we'll check on them when we can and it rained yesterday so we, we scouted in the rain and more is expected, so there's a good chance that it might be a few months before we get back up here yeah yeah and uh, these cameras should run they're rated at a year, but with the settings we have, I think we'll get at least six to eight months out of them. 
Um, we have them set for fairly low sensitivity just to maximize the amount of time that we get out of the cameras. And the batteries are very expensive. They're all lithium batteries um, to compensate for the cold weather because it does get very cold here. Um, otherwise, I mean, normal batteries would be okay if, if it wasn't so cold, but it does get it does get fairly cold. So we had to go with the lithiums. Um, so I mean, a quarter of the the camera's price is just <laughs> just the lithium batteries. So it's uh, you know, it's we I think we've accomplished a lot. So. It, it, everything should be pretty well dialed so yeah uh yeah uh i just want to say thanks to everybody so much i mean we have complete coverage here uh we have cameras everywhere we've got um the entire site clamped down basically so we have cameras on the creek cameras off in the distance uh, we have cameras covering uh patty's original trackway we have everything and uh we couldn't have done it without the sponsors i mean i'm not i don't have it you know i don't ha i don't I don't really, you know, I'm not rich. I don't really, I'm a student and no one else can really see don't, you know, putting that much cash into it. But if you just put a little bit in instead of, uh, you know, putting it towards some of the other projects, um, I think, you know, we can, we can accomplish a lot. And the only way we can really repay you guys is by just work, working our hardest and doing our best and coming out with the best data and, and being open and honest about everything. So that's good. So yeah. Yeah, because I know you donated some of your own hard cash for this project as well. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I got a lot of cameras, batteries, cards. You know, I haven't even added it up, but it's a lot. And I, I'm kind of uh, not sure I want to add it up because I'm pretty sure my girlfriend probably punched me in the face. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, so it's not that bad. Uh, the cameras, I mean, with all equipment, the cameras um, are about three 300 and twenty three hundred and thirty dollars to get each camera running uh up and running so i mean we're looking at just uh just twelve hundred dollars for those cameras and each one of those required batteries and uh, high capacity cards and external battery packs solar panels so i threw a lot at it but i wanted to i really wanted to make sure that all the money that we got was went to brand new high-end bushnell hd cameras just because they they have a proven track record. You got a 0.6 second trigger time. Uh, they're completely invisible. The IR beam's completely invisible. They're they're robust. The you know everyone uses them. They're, they're pretty much the best. I mean, a lot of people use Reconyx cameras, but you know, for the price of one Reconyx camera, you can get two Bushnells. So what's more, you know, what's what's better to have a camera that has a 0.5 second trigger time versus a 0.6 second trigger time or to have two of them you know so it's you kind of have to weigh your options so we went we opted for more cameras all right well i'm looking forward to this uh seeing the results we'll be checking on this and there's a lot of work went in setting this up and uh what do you say we like set the trigger these guys off and head back to our car yeah i'm uh i'm looking forward to it so yeah right. take it easy thanks again Is a place way down 
I think it's cool. I'm stoked. It's gonna be gonna be awesome. Get some real work done instead of just farting around in the woods at night. <laughs>